Hello, I'm Hortensia Bure for the Finance News Network and joining me from Hazer Group is Managing Director and CEO, Jeff Ward. Jeff, welcome back. Oh, thank you, Hortensia. First up, could you remind us about the company and its focus? All right, so Hazer is a clean technology development company and we're pursuing the commercialisation of the Hazer process, which is an ultra low emission method of producing hydrogen with graphite as a byproduct. So we take uh, a methane feedstock and produce hydrogen and high quality crystalline graphite without any associated CO2 emissions in the process. Thanks, Jeff. Now, hydrogen is not something we see a lot of in Australia outside of hybrid cars. Where else is it used? Well, I wish we did see a few more hybrid cars in Australia. In fact, it's been great to see the first fleet uh, come into the country in 2019. But hydrogen is incredibly versatile. Um, it's actually used extensively in industry today which gives us a whole backbone of skills and technology to draw upon. So hydrogen can be used as a feedstock in the manufacture of fertilizers, explosives, um, in the processing of crude oil, um, the desulfurization process. But the emerging markets for hydrogen are as a low emission transport fuel and heavy transport. So fleet, uh, waste trucks, trains, um, long distance lorries, as well as uh, passenger vehicles and also as a method of using, um, providing heat and power to uh, cities, office blocks, uh, or commercial homes. Um, so hydrogen's got a huge role to play because as well as being a mechanism of producing clean energy, it's also a way of storing renewable energy and transporting it. So it's gonna be a very big part of the next 50 years of renewable energy. Now, could you tell us about your commercial demonstration plant, project economics and funding? All right, so our um, CDP, as we refer to it, is going to be a 100 tonne per annum hydrogen production facility that's going to be located uh, south of the city of Perth at the Woodman Point Wastewater Treatment Plant. We're collaborating with the Water Corporation, um, Western Australian utility that provides water to the city of Perth. Uh, so our Hazer CDP is the first large scale uh, demonstration of our process. We want to use it as a reference site with future customers. I mean, it will be about a $16.65 million project. Um, the board approved the budget last month at the end of, May, end of March. Um, and we're looking to have that in construction through the middle of this year for operation by mid next year. Now, could you comment on the National Hydrogen Strategy and the WA Renewable Hydrogen Strategy and what they mean for Hazar? Well, hydrogen has received an awful lot of focus over the last two years. Um, and that's partly because we've seen the maturing of the renewable energy market. And we've now seen an abundance of low cost wind and solar, which can be transformed into hydrogen and which hydrogen can act as a storage mechanism for. And that's been coupled with a big amount of inter international interest from Japan, Korea, Singapore, who are all looking at their future hydrogen strategies and want to link with Australia. So hydrogen certainly become very topical and hence leading to the national strategy. Um, as part of that national strategy, there's a big push to find domestic um, opportunities, such as the Hazer project, such as uh, transport opportunities in Australia, which will allow us to grow the industry and skills necessary to in the future be a hydrogen exporter. Mm -hmm. Building off that, we've seen state uh, hydrogen strategies. So West Australia, as you mentioned, South Australia, Queensland, all have state-based renewable hydrogen strategies. And we're working with the Western Australian State Government and their Renewable Hydrogen Fund to also study developing a, a hydrogen refuelling facility south of the city of Perth also in Mandra um, as part of their WA hydrogen strategy. Now to a question investors are asking every company, what impact is COVID-19 having? Well, luckily for us to date, um, not a lot of impact. You know, we're a, a relatively new company. Uh, we're a relatively small company, so we don't have... Uh, complex overheads or um, a large existing customer base. So we haven't had the kind of impacts that have um, hit much more developed companies. Um, we're also lucky to have been well funded. We raised money at the end of last year. And so we have sufficient funding to continue our operations through this period. And as we were very intensely focused on the design, uh, procurement activities, permitting and planning activities with the CDP, we were able to manage them so far with only minimal disruption. Uh, we've seen some small delays, which we hope we'll mostly recoup over the next year. So luckily to date, um, the impact has been quite low um, and we hope that we can continue that way. Could you provide a snapshot on financials? So um, as we mentioned before, we're still a technology startup company, uh, but we're well funded. Uh, we had $9.25 million in the bank as of uh, the 31st of March, our last quarterly. 
Um, we've been well supported by both the federal and state governments in Western Australia. So we have a $9.4 million grant through ARENA, the Australian Renewable Energy Agency, to support the development of our commercial demonstration plant. And that will be our main focus over the next year, we will be um, to secure the final funding, final approvals to allow us to proceed into construction and operation of that project. So to our last question, Jeff, is there anything else you'd like to add? To sort of yeah, reiterate that uh, this year is going to be a really exciting time for the hydrogen industry. Um, we're seeing an enormous amount of focus, both domestically and internationally, on growing hydrogen opportunities. Um, we're seeing fantastic developments in the kind of trucks, trains and, and other uh, hydrogen vehicles that are available. Um, like in the wind and solar industries, we're seeing prices come down for hydrogen equipment, hydrogen vehicles. So I think it's a really exciting time to see how Australia can actually seize the opportunities presented by both our abundant renewable energy supplies um, and our good gas processing skills um, to bring uh, really new opportunities for our economy uh, post the COVID pandemic. Thanks for that, Jeff. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.